Prince Charles on the defense with Harry as angry future king in charge of royal reply. Prince Charles is leading the palace's response to the fallout of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Oprah interview, according to royal commentators, who described the future king's mood. Prince Charles was probably angry about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interview, royal commentators have claimed. The Prince of Wales reportedly took charge of the palace's first statement released almost two days after the special broadcast in the U.S. Roy Lea's podcast hosts Christina Garibaldi and Molly Mulshine spoke about their surprise at this insight. Ms. Garibaldi told listeners, We are hearing that it was Prince Charles, rather than Queen Elizabeth, who took charge in responding to Meghan and Prince Harry's interview. Is this surprising to you? Ms. Mulshine replied, kind of, just because I thought the statement was so stiff and cold. I wouldn't think that it would have been the statement of a father to a son. She continued, I would have thought it had been handled by the palace workers, with the Queen's input. We know that she doesn't really like to show any emotion in public so that's what I thought. Ms. Garibaldi agreed, I was kind of surprised about it too. But, on the other hand, Maybe not because Harry said their relationship has been so strained for so long. She continued, I feel that when Charles saw this interview, he was probably really angry about it. Maybe he's just kind of on the defense. Ms. Mulshine added, I guess he just probably wanted to put in as little detail as possible so that it wouldn't turn into another press fiasco, which, of course, it still did anyway. Harry revealed during the Oprah interview that his father had stopped taking his calls while he was abroad with Meghan in Canada. After confirming that they were now speaking, the Duke said, There's a lot to work through there, you know? I feel really let down, because he's been through something similar. He knows what pain feels like, and he Archie's his grandson. But, at the same time, of course I will always love him, but there's a lot of hurt that's happened. I will continue to make it one of my priorities to try and heal that relationship. And, but they only know what they know, or what they're told. And I've tried to educate them through the process that I have been educated. I will always love him, but there's a lot of hurt that's happened. I will continue to make it one of my priorities to try and heal that relationship. And, but they only know what they know, or what they're told. And I've tried to educate them through the process that I have been educated.